Congratulations, your loan's been approved. The highlight up here, your mortgage has been approved. Now you can't see it over here. Let's keep it that way. So let me go through some of the uh, things that I want you to avoid. So we make sure that we don't have any issues in getting your loan closed. So basically, here's, here's the step that's going to happen. Uh, Chris or myself or Gary will be getting in touch with you, letting you know if there's any additional information that we need from you. So that's first thing. Uh, the next step is the, if the appraisal has not been done, that will be now scheduled. So let's go through some of the pitfalls, though, that could happen even though you've been approved. So things that we want to avoid. We want to avoid any major purchases. Don't go out and buy a new car. Um, you're buying a new home, but you you know you know it needs furniture, so you go out and buy you know ten thousand dollars worth of furniture. Please don't do any of that. That could jeopardize your loan approval. Why? Now that's going to get what what happens is about a week or so prior to closing, uh, the lender is going to fi file or pull one last credit report. It's a soft pool, so it's really not affecting your credit scores, but they want to make sure that you didn't open any additional debt that would de jeopardize or make it a little more difficult for you to qualify, ma mainly budgeting purposes, okay? So please don't do that. Miss payments, um, a car payment. If you miss a payment, um, you might have a rental property or another house. You might have your main house and you're buying an investment property. You miss a mortgage payment, that's going to throw you into a whole different scenario. So please don't miss any payments. Uh, the process is probably going to take 45 to 60 days, so please make sure you keep up on all those payments. Stay away from opening any new credit. Again, you might want to go think of, oh, well, let's go out and buy some new furniture, and let's do this. And One of the toughest times is uh, around Christmas time, because you get those bonuses if you open a credit card through one of the, the uh, vendors. So please don't, don't open any new accounts. Um, all that could do is really hurt your scenario. Here's one of the biggest things, and this is the most frustrating part of where people get frustrated with us. They move their money all over the place. Um, they might have two or three accounts. They move it from one to the other to another. Basically, a big piece of the Patriot Act is we have to, or lenders have to, identify large cash transfers, uh, mainly because of fraud laundering of money and those things. So, you know, once we get you approved, please don't really let everything just sit as is. If you need to move some money around, let us know what what you what your goals are and we'll help walk you through exactly uh, the easiest way to do that, especially on documentation purposes for us. How what would make it the simplest way for us to track that money. And then last but not least, don't don't quit your job. In the middle of everything, and even though if you got a great promotion or or, or something, or if it's if it's a huge advancement, or um, you know it it has to be done, let us know before you do this, so we can make sure that that's again not going to jeopardize this transaction. Uh, so these are the main again the main pitfalls. Please try your best to avoid them. If you can't avoid them, let us or pre warn us on what you're doing, so we can help kind of walk you through it and uh, make the process as smooth as we can. So if you have any additional questions, please give us a call, 630-338-1160. Otherwise, congratulations, you're approved, and we will keep moving on. Take care, have a great day.